over 35 million Americans have diabetes. That means many, if not most of us, should really consider seeking out diabetic-friendly foods while removing certain glucose-spiking foods from our diet. Usually, this means making more meals at home while avoiding overly processed junk foods. But it never seems as simple as that, does it? Being diagnosed with type 1 or type 2 diabetes can still leave you feeling lost and frustrated about which specific foods you should eat and which of your normal choices may cause your body harm. Those cakes and pastries you once loved, those slices of bread, and that comforting bowl of pasta? Well, you can no longer have those. Or can you? Let's take a look at three extremely simple food swaps so you can still have your cake and eat it too without guilt or worry about spiking your blood sugar. Please like, subscribe, and stick around for three free gifts. Now, let's check out three simple food substitutions to lower blood sugar. Number three, instead of regular flour, use coconut or almond flour. A birthday isn't exactly a birthday without a delicious and fluffy cake. Sometimes you may crave a batch of warm cookies. Maybe you even have a few classic holiday baked treats that you just can't give up. Well, you might not have to. Simply swap your regular white flour with coconut or almond flour for your next homemade cake, cookie, or bread. It can make all the difference, and it can help prevent your blood sugar from skyrocketing. But what exactly is the power behind this food swap? Both coconut flour and almond flour have a lower glycemic index rating than white flour, and studies show that each will have a much more mild impact on blood glucose levels than white flour, due mainly to their fiber content. In fact, coconut flour's composition is approximately 75% fiber. And while a quarter cup serving of almond flour contains five grams of carbohydrates, three out of those five grams are pure fiber. So the high fiber load within both of these two flour alternatives can aid your body in slowing the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream, rather than the opposite effect you might receive from highly refined low fiber white flour. Meanwhile, almond flour supplies a range of other beneficial glucose-lowering nutrients, including copper, iron, magnesium, and manganese. Copper aids blood vessel health. Iron is utilized for red blood cell production. Magnesium helps your body metabolize carbohydrates. And research shows that consuming more magnesium decreases your risk of developing type 2 diabetes and manganese contributes to the proper secretion of insulin from the pancreas. So it's no surprise that research shows almonds can work to improve glycemic control and lipid profiles in those with type 2 diabetes. Meanwhile, coconut flour made from coconut milk is another gluten and grain-free flour that also supplies a wealth of diabetes-fighting nutrients, including iron, magnesium, potassium, and even vitamin C. We've already mentioned the diabetes-fighting power of iron and magnesium, but did you know that research shows potassium works to protect heart and kidney health, especially for type 2 diabetics? And vitamin C has been proven to aid arterial health and may work to decrease post-meal glucose levels. Plus, naturally, coconut flour, like almond flour, supplies a great portion of dietary fiber. In fact, just a quarter cup of coconut flour contains over 35% of the recommended daily intake for fiber, which is more than four times the amount of fiber within all-purpose flour. Coconut flour also gives you more protein, but less total carbohydrates than typical white flour. That means this is another excellent diabetic-friendly flour option that can aid your body in managing post-meal glucose levels rather than spiking your glucose. In fact, research shows that coconut flour can lower cholesterol and triglyceride levels, 
and a recent study found that overweight women who consumed 26 grams of coconut flour daily for 9 months reduced both their total cholesterol and their fasting blood sugar levels. And at the end of the day, refined white flour is loaded with easily digestible simple carbohydrates, which are quickly metabolized in the body. That's why even a small portion of white bread can still send your glucose levels skyrocketing in short order. But between their complex carbohydrates, rich fiber content, and wealth of diabetes-fighting nutrients, both almond flour and coconut flour can be a perfect substitute, which will still allow you to enjoy baked goods while still protecting your post-meal blood sugar. So relax, you can still enjoy home-baked goods. But do your body a favor and ditch the white flour in favor of almond or coconut flour. Number 2. Instead of refined grains, eat more whole grains. Refined grains are everywhere these days. They can be found in everything from white bread to chips and crackers, bagels, pasta, and even most cereals. Refined grain products are high carb, high starch, low fiber foods, which will surely spike your blood sugar if you aren't careful. But simply switching to products made with 100% whole grains can make a world of difference. As the name suggests, products which are made with true whole grains supply the whole grain kernel. That means, unlike refined grains, they contain the most nutritious portions of each grain including the bran, the endosperm, and the germ. So whole grains won't just supply carb content, they will also give you glucose-lowering fiber, plus diabetes-fighting B vitamins, cardiovascular-aiding minerals like iron, magnesium, and zinc, and even anti-inflammatory antioxidants like phytic acid, ferulic acid, and lignans. A recent meta-analysis concluded that consuming three one-ounce servings of whole grains daily may lower the risk of heart disease by 22%. Other studies have shown that consuming whole grains, especially over-refined grains, can also lower the risk of stroke, aid weight loss, reduce fasting blood sugar levels, and increase insulin sensitivity. Some of the best sources of true 100% whole grains include brown rice, bulgur, oats, buckwheat, farro, and even quinoa. Just be sure that any packaged grain product definitively states that it contains authentic, 100% whole grains. Why? Well, many food corporations sneakily advertise their products as containing wheat or grains, which on paper might sound healthy, but these statements are often simply marketing gimmicks which trick you into believing that they supply whole grains, when in reality, they are still loaded with refined grains and simple sugars. But definitely choose 100% whole grains over refined grains, and your body will reap the diabetes-fighting benefits. Today's best simple food substitution for diabetics is just ahead. But first, let's get you those three free gifts. Become an expert of your anti-diabetes kitchen with Superfoods for Diabetics, Episode 1 of That Diabetes Documentary, and the new cookbook, Snacks, Meals, and Desserts That Lower Blood Sugar. Simply click the link in the description below to gain free access to all three diabetes fighting guides right now. So, what is our very favorite food substitution for lowering blood sugar? Number 1. Instead of white flour pasta, try veggie-based pasta. Who doesn't love pasta? But chances are, if you are worried about diabetes, you probably have second thoughts before eating a big bowl of spaghetti or linguine. Traditional pastas are, of course, made from refined grains and refined flour. So naturally, they can very unnaturally spike your blood sugar. But here's the thing, you can make pasta noodles directly from vegetables. All you need is a spiralizer and the appropriate veggie. Indeed, delicious pastas can be made from zucchini, carrots, or simply by removing the inner layers of spaghetti squash. But if you don't own a spiralizer, don't worry. 
These days, many grocery stores actually sell pre-spiralized vegetables. Once spiraled, the noodle versions of these vegetables can simply be sautéed, and you can add your sauce of choice from there. Obviously, most any vegetable will be loaded with diabetes-fighting fiber, plus vitamins and minerals. Zucchini, specifically, is rich in vitamin B6, which aids blood sugar regulation. This veggie also contains a wealth of other pro-heart health, anti-diabetes nutrients, including vitamins A, C, and K, plus copper, folate, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium. In fact, research shows that consuming zucchini peel extract can work to decrease blood sugar and insulin levels. Carrots supply pectin, a form of soluble fiber which has been shown to improve blood sugar levels and blood sugar-related hormone function, while reducing levels of artery-clogging LDL cholesterol. Carrots also contain beta-carotene, aka vitamin A, which promotes eye health and decreases the risk of diabetes-related macular degeneration. Spaghetti squash is low in calories but rich in fiber and anti-diabetes, cancer-fighting antioxidants, including beta-carotene and vitamin C. But the vegetable-based spiralizer fun doesn't have to stop with these choices. You can create noodles from sweet potatoes, beets, bell peppers, cucumbers, and parsnips. You can even find bean-based noodles at most supermarkets. And studies show that a higher intake of vegetables in general can reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. So go ahead, get your fill of nutrition-rich, diabetes-fighting vegetables by eating them in noodle form. So now you've got the know-how to swap out your most unhealthy glucose-spiking ingredients in favor of some incredible and delicious blood sugar balancing alternatives. But what do you think? Do you know of any other wonderful diabetic-friendly food swaps? Let our community know by commenting below. Before you head out, don't forget to like this vid, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to click the link below to grab your three free gifts. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a happy and healthy day.